government mind control creating the perfect slave race? Now that's what we're going to find out right here at Third Phase Moon. We've reached out to the public. We want to hear your stories. And right now we have a submission from Nicole. It's quite extraordinary. Let's get to it. Today's topic will be that of government mind control and manipulation. MK Ultra, Project Blue Beam, HARP, and cybernetic hive minds are just a few of the things that come to mind as the discussion of government and military mind control emerges. Who is ultimately behind these egregious acts and why are they necessary? Dr. Robert Duncan is a scientist with multiple degrees from Dartmouth College and Harvard University in Business and Applied Sciences, Artificial Intelligence, Pattern Recognition, and Robotics. He has worked on projects for the CIA, Department of Defense, and Department of Justice. In 2004, he testified regarding non-consensual experimentation on American citizens. Dr. Duncan states that scientists don't think of science as evil. We are brainwashed into believing that everything we are doing is of benefit to mankind. But look who pays our bills, the military. It's all for war. It's all for control, for government control. Dr. Duncan also speaks of the next step in evolution, transhumanism and the redefining the future of the human race with the use of technology for artificial intelligence and robotics. Norbert Weiner, developer of cybernetic hive minds, states that cybernetics is the science of control and communication in the animal and the machine. This technology encompasses increased intelligence, rapid communication, brainstorming, interrogation, mind control, predictions of mass influence and accelerated education by using the computing power of multiple other people or animals. This technology also includes remote mind reading, CIA hive mind experimentation, multiple people sharing the same mental space, how people can be targeted and tracked remotely via their energy signature or brain print, the existence and use of a technology for remotely cloning or copying thoughts, emotions, and other states, including intense pain, onto a target, and how a weapon system capable of totalitarian control has been developed with ongoing non-consensual and torturous experimentation on civilians. Norbert Weiner has also spoken of a weapon he regretfully designed called the Voice of God weapon, which is the act of controlling people via neuro-linguistic programming techniques. Another similar experiment is Project Bluebeam, telepathic electronic two-way communication. It involves making people think their God is speaking to them through telepathy using extremely low frequency waves. With this, all five senses can be mildly overridden. Norbert Weiner also discussed remote neural monitoring, nanoparticles which are activated by frequencies and a way to read people's brains by ionizing the air through the spraying of chemtrails. HARP, which is High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, is an ionospheric research project funded by the U.S. Air Force. HARP consists of a field of antennas on the ground in southeast Alaska linked together to operate as one enormous antenna. When HARP is fired, the radio waves are broadcasted straight up or straight down. When fired up, the antennas shoot powerful waves into the ionosphere, which is the uppermost part of the atmosphere. During this process, radio waves heat the atmosphere, creating irregularities that allow the ionosphere to bounce powerful radio signals back to Earth. With this technology, HARP has developed the ability of weather manipulation and mind control or mood control entire regions of the population. Certain extremely low frequency waves, 6 to 11 hertz, can affect behavior and manipulate moods in human subjects. The early stages of government mind control produced Project MKUltra. From 1953 to 1964, the CIA conducted dozens of experiments on the effects of biological and chemical agents on American citizens without their knowledge. The project was intended to develop a capability in the covert use of biological and chemical materials. These covert tests included subjecting the unwitting subjects to hallucinogenic drugs and other chemicals as well as the discovery of the following materials and methods, including those which will promote the intoxicating effect of alcohol, 
which will render the induction of hypnosis easier or otherwise enhance its usefulness, which will enhance the ability of individuals to withstand privation, to torture and coercion during interrogation and so-called brainwashing, which will produce the amnesia for events preceding and during their use, which will produce shock and confusion over extended periods of time and capable of surreptitious use, and which will produce physical disablement such as paralysis of the legs, acute anemia, etc. In addition, MK Ultra scientists were authorized to research additional avenues to the control of human behavior, including radiation and paramilitary devices and materials. In conclusion, the government has been engineering everything from the emotions you feel, what food you eat, the water you drink, what you buy, where you go, and the very roots of what makes us human, our independent thought. Why would the government need such absolute control? Does this information reveal that religion is also just an invention by the government and military to control and manipulate the population into complacency and obedience? These projects, conducted in ultimate secrecy, are further proof that there is a hidden agenda ordered by a shadow government to create a perfect slave race, one that can be controlled and manipulated easily. What is the end goal of these experiments? Was the human race created by aliens specifically to be lab rats and test subjects to produce a completely compliant labor force? Are we truly capable of breaking free from this imprisonment? Or is the conspiracy too deep for a revolution? Thank you, Nicole, for your incredible report. We look forward to the people out there. If you've got something you want to share to Third Phase of Moon, Send us your story, or like Nicole did, record your story and send it to us via our email in the description below. Everybody keep your eyes on the skies, stay safe, Blake Cousins. We'll see you again next time. By popular demand, Paul Baird is back with his third album, Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Twelve brand new tracks heard by millions on your favorite channel, Third Phase of Moon. Available on iTunes, Amazon, and music streaming services. Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Available right now. Links are below. Keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone.